Colossians 12 through 17. Give it thanks unto Abba, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. See, this is all the, the Father's plan. He put all this together. But he's such a great one that he's he, he not jealous that he must all, you know, always be at the, at the front, front showing himself. He allow his son to get get the glory. That's why he that's why he established him the way, the truth, and the light. Because all he gonna do is bring you back to the Father, and ultimately he's gonna give all the glory to him. So he you know he he's not gonna give his glory to another. But his son was called for this purpose to bring the glory back to him. And to give us our proper Inheritance, being sovereigns, masters, kings. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness, from the lie, the deception. And has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Who is worthy. In whom he have redemption through his blood. even the forgiveness of sins who is the image of the invisible power master sovereign that's why I said when you've seen me you've seen the father the firstborn of every creature He was the firstborn, the first, the first creation. He's the, he is the way, the truth, and the life. That's why he's the firstborn. He, he, he perfectly, he did the plan perfectly. You can't go no, you can't add perfection to what he did. That's why he is the way, the truth, and the life. For by him were all things created. See, there we go again. He's showing us. Abba created him, Yahushua Mashiach, and for by him were all things created. He allowed his son to be glorified by creating everything else that are in heaven. So he created everything in heaven, Yahushua HaMashiach did. And that are in the earth, Yahushua HaMashiach created all the things that's in the earth. He created, he created the visible and the invisible. Angels, demons, human beings, men, women, whatever you are. Whatever there is, he created it by the plan of Abba Yah. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. That's why you can't get to the Father except through him. It was, it was designed that way. So if you Israelites just say, you know, you don't father the Son, then you don't have no life. Nor any access to life. Revelations 3 and 14. And unto the Malak, I believe, of the church, or the, the assembly of the Laodicians, right? These things says the Amen. He's telling you once again that he was created by Yah. And unto the angel of the, the church of Laodicians, right? These things says the Amen. I mean, you know, it, this, this, you know, this is confirmation. He said, this thing says the confirmation. The faithful and true witness. See, he, he's faithful and true. That's who Yahushua HaMashiach is. He's testifying to that he's created by Yah. These things says the I mean, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of Yah. He told us himself right there that he was the first creation of Yah. That's why Yah confirmed there is no master sovereign besides me. There ain't nobody on his level. 
nothing is on his level. Revelation 5, 1 through 5. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne of a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong mala. And if I'm wrong, I'll get the correction right, but I'm just practicing on uh, getting the correct words. So I'm, I'm still in practice as well. And I saw a strong Malak proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof, who, to, to give us the true understanding. And no man in heaven, nor in earth, so no preachers, no sinners, not, not neither under the earth. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm believing that that means under the earth, we already talked about what's in heaven, what's in the earth. So under the earth, I'm, I'm, I'm believing that's demons, demonic uh, sorcerers and all these types. No one was able to open the book. No uh, Catholics, Roman Catholics, no Protestants, none of these people. <laughs> Neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. So this, if we humble ourselves and stay in the proper name and our proper position and capacity, we're going to be part of that, uh, as they say, ministry. That's going to be able to open this book and reveal these truths. That the Gentiles are going to want to come and hear us. And then I had a thought to read Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. So we can't stand in their way by our own actions. And I've been guilty of that in the past, but I no more. That is my, that is my desire. Nor standeth in the seat of the scornful. We, you know, we want to kill him. We want God to, want God to get him. But his delight is the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. This is the season. To bring forth his truth. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he do it shall prosper. This world is going to prosper. If we stand in our proper capacity. According to the, to the word of Yah. The ungodly are not so. So if you don't accept. Yahushua Hamashiach. You are ungodly. You are not so. But you are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. This judgment that's on the earth, you ain't gonna better stand. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the sovereign knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. 